I have got a tech lab I call HL Mod Tech at West Ottawa's Highway Schools. Uh, there's a ton of movies out there telling you how to tweak your printer, how to build your printer, but I would like to take time to show you how I use my printers in my classroom and review how effective they are. Uh, the first printer I want to talk to you about is called the A8 printer. Uh, it comes in a tiny box and you have to assemble every single part. There are a boatload of amazing tutorials that help you put it together. Uh, I kind of suggest watching it all the way through and then go back and building it. Uh, you'll find comments that teach you lots of things. Uh, if you want to plan ahead and watch videos for upgrades, making it so you can calibrate your bed height uh, with these adjustable screws is a great choice. There are also uh, upgrades like adding a MOSFET that helps the power get distributed to the hotbed better and there's a better power supply you can buy. Uh, the links in the YouTube video which I'll show end up costing about 40 bucks uh, but it's a great deal. The printer itself you can buy from GearBest uh, for about 145 bucks sometimes even a little cheaper and then it took me and my father six hours to build it uh, we just worked through it while following a YouTube video and when we were done it took me another week to calibrate it so it printed the way I want but for about two hundred dollars in your classroom you could have 3d prints the A8 when you first receive it uh, just has a power cord that plugs right into the wall uh, so there's no way to safely shut it down so this is another piece that we added I bought it uh, from the same link I'm going to show you and it also had the power supply which has a fan and more oomph to drive the entire machine. I choose to use Kira which is free and I use the 15.04 version because I'm uh, good at it. There is a newer version but I just don't use it as much. I guess I am celebrating Star Wars coming out by printing this nifty little clone trooper. Uh, I am using settings that I have tweaked uh, to use PLA. I have printed with ABS, but I'm still not real pleased with how hot the bed gets. Uh, I also printed with uh, copolyester, uh, which was pretty neat, and I had not been able to do that on any of the printers. So the A8 is highly capable, uh, even right out of the box. You can do amazing things with it. If you are an educator and you're looking to use Tinkercad with your classrooms, I have got a neat playlist on my HL Mod Tech channel called the ABCs of Tinkercad. It currently has four movies in it and it shows the students how to sign up for Tinkercad. Although you'll note I have a link to Tinkercad in Classroom. You'd have to create something of your own to give them that link. And then it teaches them how to build a super simple house. Uh, four minutes of video, probably 15 or 20 minutes of them having fun. A crazy cool fast forth that uh, focuses on the duplicate key which is one of my favorite tools in Tinkercad and then a Christmas tree and a turkey that are both just a lot of fun and cool to make. You can also just click on the HL Mod Tech link and then search using the little bar out here and you'd be amazed the crazy things that I have created over the years. There are more than 1200 different videos all teaching uh, Tinkercad and other electronic toys or tools and the cool things that we've done in my HL Mod Tech classroom. If you've got any questions please leave them in the comments. I'm looking for suggestions. I will be posting a new Mod Tech Minute every Sunday and I'd love to be able to work with you and help give you the information you need to make your classroom a makerspace for the school day. Thanks for watching and looking forward to catching up with you next week.